Latitude lines circle the globe from east to west, allowing you to find locations north or south of the equator. Longitude lines run from the North Pole to the South Pole and show locations east and west. With latitude and longitude numbers, you can find any spot on the Earth, especially where a hurricane's eye is located. Now you know. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mora. Mora who? There's more Hurricanes for Kids right after this. Across America, service learning is helping students improve their grades and their communities. Service learning makes school exciting by connecting the classroom with community service projects. Before service learning, I was just an ordinary student causing mischief during class. After service learning started, I got so involved into it, I started paying attention more, picked up my grades. Hey, very good. Service learning absolutely drives academic success. Working together, students solve real problems, build new skills, and apply their knowledge in a whole new way. The great thing about service learning is it gives you this opportunity to go out into the world and do things hands-on. Inside the classroom and out, service learning opens new doors and brings learning to life. Service learning can make a difference in your school. Visit Learn and Serve America at learnandserve.gov to find out how. Oh, I think that's going to leave a mark. Sorry about that last one. That's okay. Education has its challenges. You're such a champ. Oh! Sorry. Um, my teacher wants me to identify the four hurricane dangers. Hold on for a second. Ah, Whoa! Oh. What was that? An unfortunate side effect of hurricane magic. Hey, I know where we are. We're at the Museum of Science and Industry here in Tampa. If anybody knows about hurricanes, they do. Come on. Oh, look at that. Typhoon Tom, wait for me. Where'd he go? Hi, can I help you? Yeah, I lost my guy. I have to write a paper about hurricanes. Can you tell me what the dangers are? Well, hurricanes have a lot of, a lot of dangers. It's a complete package of, of weather um, disasters. They, have, they usually come with tornadoes and high winds. They come with uh, heavy rain, uh, storm surges, uh, lightning. They, they are very complete um, as far as a lot of the things that they bring with them to at least the two areas that uh, in the Pacific and the Atlantic. Let's start with tornadoes. All right, well, if you step over here, the thing about tornadoes is that they have winds that, that range that are how much higher than 250 miles an hour. Uh, they, they are unpredictable. They usually come with, with low pressure systems, get high pressure systems, and you get that vortex. They, they touch down on ground and that they, they do a tremendous amount of damage uh, to those areas. They last just a few seconds to just a couple minutes. Well, what about heavy rain? Oh, I have the perfect thing for us to take a look at. Follow me. Okay. So hurricanes can bring a tremendous amount of rain really quickly. We're talking about 40 inches of rain in about 24 hours. It's a lot of rain. If you think about it, it just takes a few inches to knock the person off their feet and just a, a couple more inches to, to make it so incredibly difficult to drive in. And there's a lot of drivers who, who try to escape floods by driving, and it's absolutely the worst thing to do. Many drivers end up causing more uh, damage and actually getting killed when they try to escape the floods by driving through heavy water. Storm surge is the most devastating element of a hurricane. As a hurricane's winds spiral around the storm, they push water into a mound at the storm's center. This mound of water becomes dangerous when the storm reaches land because as the water piles up, it is unable to escape, so it is pushed up on the shore. This causes major flooding in lower-lying areas and can kill many people. This is the main reason why evacuations or requests for people to leave their vulnerable homes are ordered. You mentioned high winds. How fast can they get? You know what? I have the perfect exhibit to show you. Follow me. A hurricane isn't a hurricane until the winds get to a certain speed. When a storm's winds get to 39 miles per hour, the storm gets a name and is known as a tropical storm. These storms can cause a great deal of damage, wait, wait. but the winds are not normally going to blow wait, homes over. As the wind speeds rise, thanks Stormy for throwing that switch. The storm remains a tropical storm until the winds get to 74 miles per hour. That's when they can be called hurricanes, and that's when the damage can really occur. Storm strength is broken into categories on the Saffir Simpson scale. Category 1 storm winds are from 74 to 95 miles per hour. 
Category 2 storms are from 96 to 110 miles an hour. Category 3 is from 111 to 130 miles per hour. Category 4 is from 131 to 150 miles an hour. And Category 5 storms have winds greater than 155 miles per hour, nearly as fast as race cars can go. Fortunately, we only got to 74 miles per hour. Just why do I feel so wind blown? that hit me. Do you ever use your car? I have a moped. Right. Well, my teacher wants to know how we can get ready. You know, hurricanes are big things and it seems like you can't get ready for them, but there are certain things that people can do to prepare themselves for these hurricanes. Typically, you'll find the adults in your household uh, doing things like preparing water, preparing food. They'll be getting flashlights with batteries. They'll be getting important papers together. They might be shuttering windows if you could stay put in your home, but if you have to evacuate, if the order comes down, you have to leave your home. Evacuation means we want you to get away from the dangers of a hurricane, specifically storm surge, so you can stay safe, and that's an important thing to do. Okay, well that's great for adults, but what about kids? Well, kids have a responsibility to get themselves ready as well. You don't have to wait for an adult to do it for you. In fact, kids should put together their own survival kit. Great! I'm going to do that right now. I love your enthusiasm! If you want to build your own hurricane survival kit like Stormy's doing, you have to start off with a backpack or some other kind of bag. You could put some of your favorite snacks in the backpack, pack your own flashlight, and some things to help you pass the time. Books, games, toys, yes, and even radar emitters are all good choices for your kid. Back so soon? Yeah, it went well. It was pretty easy. You know, putting together a survival kit, the hardest part is getting started. A lot of people put it off because they think it's going to be too tough of a process, but you saw it today. It didn't take much. Matter of fact, if you can get the things that are non-perishable, put them in your backpack, you can tuck it in your closet, storm comes, add some food, and you're good to go. Hey, remember, we're all in this together. We'll be right back with more Hurricanes for Kids after this.